Now here is a thought for the mind. Let's look at the appointed days that Aya has given us. And as it is written, let's take a story that he has given us. When he had took his children out of the land, out of bondage, and brought them into the desert, the wilderness, he told them, let this be a mark that this here for you is our new year. Now look at the time now. The new year is approaching. And that is a appointed day that he meets with his children and all who believe. He exists. Now nobody know the day and time or the hour, the minute, the moment when he will return to claim what is rightfully his. Nobody know when he's going to show up. But here's a clue. He said when he do come, he wants to find his people doing his will, his work. And if they are at the meeting on that appointed day that he has appointed for us, he will know because they will be doing what they are to do. His instructions is only one way and it is only to keep you on the straight and narrow. So what if the new year or any appointed day was a day he was coming? He came and gathered his. His appointed days is on his calendar. So don't think man-made calendar that we're looking at that the world go by. That's the system calendar. But on his calendar, which for years I've been learning, I learned years ago and been going by for years. I live this because that had always been a thought in my mind. So now I'm sharing it with all of you, all of you, all of you. His appointed days on one of them days may be a day he come and gather us. That's a thought for the mind just another thought for the mind just another thought just another thought for the mind for the mind for the mind